Right, so what we want to do now is be able to delete your account based on the type of user you are. So if we click this button, a model will pop up and it will render the relevant information based on what type of user you are. So because I'm first and foremost a Google user in this case, I should see a button saying confirm delete, which would then make me re-authenticate myself as a Google user and then delete myself as well. So this will remove me here from this Firebase authentication users list. So that's what we will do first. And then after we will do the deletion if you was an email password provider like here. So let's first of all do the Google one. So if we go in our code, again, I've added code in for the deletion of the user. So the UI part is complete. But in here, this is the model confirm delete users. So we have a button saying delete account. If we click on it, it opens a model, which again goes into confirm delete user. If we go into this one, which is the model type. And then here we're checking if this user is an email user only. So if the provider ID is equal to a password, then we render certain content. If they're a Google user, then we render certain content. So if they're a Google user, User, what we want to do is we want to essentially render this button and in this button it says delete user from Firestore again delete user from Firestore as a console log so let's first of all do that so when we click this it should console log what we've just seen there so let me go in the console and click this it says delete user from Firestore so that's the block we need to work with so if Google user and if it is an email user what we need to do here is we need to put in the user's password to re-authenticate them say that this is what we want to do and then we need to delete so this delete user from firestore function is going to handle quite a lot of functionality in here so let's again comment this out and let me just save this all and what we want to do essentially is do this first one or you could separate it out actually into delete user from firestore with google and you could do one with your provider here but what i want to do is make sure that this is flexible and it takes in the relevant arguments so let me just delete this and now what we need to do is copy this name and in our authentication folder in firebase i'm going to create a new folder called delete user so this is going to be the logic to delete a user and in here i'm going to do index.ts and this function is going to be called export const of essentially delete user from firestore which again is an async function and takes in arguments and this will be an arrow function as well so let's just do the arrow function in here and then what we want to do the first thing we want to do in the arrow function is it receives certain arguments so let me bring them in so it will receive a password navigate is email user is google user and set is loading so if it is an email user it's going to be different to if it is a google user so let's first of all get access and handle the users so const user is equal to all stock current users so let me implement that or import it in from our auth object and now what we want to do is a try catch in here and the catch is essentially going to generate our firebase error message which we have and we also need to import firebase error which handles all of that and what i'm going to do actually is remove all of this and have a finally block so the finally block will essentially handle our set is loading to false so now in here we need to set is loading to true first of all so let's go ahead and do that so now we have our try catch and finally we need to work on the try block itself so now what we want to do is handle the google user first so if handle google user so essentially it will be if is google user is true like that then we want to have this in a block and in here we need to get access to the google provider so let me just bring this in which is essentially the new google provider which comes from firebase auth and then what we need to do is we need to re-authenticate the user so await re-authenticate with credential which is coming from firebase auth and then we pass in the user itself as you can see there and then the credential which is this Google provider. And actually this will be, because it's Google, it's going to be re-authenticate with pop-up, but we will need the credential if it is an email user. So let me just quickly import this one in. And now that is all handled correctly. What I want to do is once that is re-authenticated, then what we want to do is delete the user. So again, await, and then the function comes from Firebase auth again. So delete the user comes on firebase auth and we pass in the user so that is pretty much the step and then also what we want to do is 
if it is a Google user, then we want to navigate to the home page like this. So all we need to do is navigate. And now if I save, essentially, this should handle the Google user. So now what we need to do is pass in the relevant arguments in here. And what we actually want to do as well is move this password to the end argument and make it optional as well. So essentially, if it is a email user here, then we need the password. If it's not, then we don't really need the password. So now we've got access to that. We need to pass it in the relevant argument. So if we go into our confirm delete user in here, and if we go into is Google user, because that's what we are handling. So now we have them side by side. This is the function we need to import in here. So let's go ahead and import that. What we want to do is pass the password in right at the end because it's optional. So the first argument that this function will receive is this navigate, which we have over here. So we just need to import the type incorrectly. Is this an email user? No. So this will be false. It, if it is a Google user, it's true. So that's the Boolean value for that. Then we pass in the set is loading. And then we also have the password in here. So because it's a Google user, we don't need the password. So let's delete that one. We don't need it. So now if it is a Google user, all of this should execute in here. So let's go ahead and test this out. So before we do that, we just need to fix these errors. So there's a couple of errors in our code. Again, this one over here, we need to uncomment this out. We need to move the password because this email user one, when we click on it, we need the password length. So let's put this password in at the end because we have put it in here. So then the first argument will be the navigate, which is the navigate function. This time email user is true, which it is. And then is Google user is false. And then we pass in the password as well. We can do the logic for if is email user in here, like so. But essentially what I want to do is put work with this later on. And all I want to do is actually console log the password because this one will actually receive the password itself. So let me just do that. So now save. And now all I need to do is save everything off. And we actually have the is Google user one working correctly. So what we want to do is we want to delete the user when we click confirm delete. So if we go into our function here on the left, you can see handle Google user is essentially getting access to the Google provider, re-authenticating with a pop-up, which takes in the user and the provider, and then it deletes the user. And then we navigate to the home page like so. So let's test this out. So if I click delete account and then confirm delete, so I need to re-authenticate which it has done, and then it's deleted everything for me. So now what should happen is if I go into Firebase Auth, this user should be deleted. So let's just go out in here and go back in. And now you can see because it was using the Google provider, the user has now been deleted in here. So that is the first section of it complete. What we now need to do is do the same for if the user is using an email provider. So let's go ahead and do that. So what we need to do first of all is create an account so we need to register so let's go ahead and register the account put in a password so my password is going to be firebase auth so we will need that password to delete the account so what i'm going to do now is verify my user and then i'll be right back so now your email has been verified so if i go back in here and log in so my password is Firebase Auth and click sign in. So now I'm signed in. I can go into my account and in here, you should see now that this is an email user. So I should see this information, but I want to click delete account. So now I am prompted with my password. So we need to reconfigure this step. So if we go in our code, so we've done is Google user. So that's fine. That's handled. Now what we want to do is essentially handle email user. So in here, if I click it now, first of all, I'm going to do test and confirm delete. And in my console, I should see the password that I've put in, which is test. So that's fine. Now what we want to do is have the logic for if the user is an email user and we need to re-authenticate the user with the password and then delete the account. So let's go ahead and do that. So what I'm going to do is bring in my code for the email user. So let me just quickly paste this in. So again, what you can do in this bit is add some extra validation for your password. If the password is incorrect, then essentially what will happen is the user account won't be deleted. So again, we need access to email auth provider coming from Firebase auth, and then we need the user's email. So let's get access to the user's email, which is quite simple. It's const user email, 
is equal to user.email, which is coming from the auth.current user in here. And if you hover over it, it says type, type string or null is not assignable to string. So essentially we want to use TypeScript coercion to put as string in here. So that will satisfy that error. And now we have access to the credential. So all we want to do this time is instead of re-authenticating with pop-up, this time what we want to do is re-authenticate with credential. So this is the one and you would pass in, if you hover over it, the user and the credential, which is essentially what we have over here. So that is pretty much it. Then the last thing we do is what we have done above, which is copy this and paste this in here. So now that should handle this section here. So let's go ahead and do the whole process. So if we go into Firebase Auth and in users, we have this user here, which is Marcel. Provider is an email provider. So now what we want to do is delete this from here. So let's go into delete account, put in the correct password, or actually I'll type in the wrong password and click confirm delete. It says here invalid credential. And this is coming from how we handle our errors in our catch block, which is essentially this generate Firebase auth error message. So now let's enter the correct password, which is Firebase auth. So now if I click confirm delete, what will happen is it should delete my user from here and also navigate me to the home page as well. So let's click confirm delete. So it re-authenticated me and then it deleted me as well. So let's just check it has deleted the user. So let's go back. And now you can see it says here, no users for this project yet. So that is essentially how you would delete a user for the email and also for the Google provider. So these two sign methods here. So what we've essentially done is to delete a user, we need to essentially re-authenticate them because that is important in authentication and then we delete them. So that is how you would do that. Hopefully you learned a lot in this series of Firebase Auth. Please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.